Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session we are going to talk about DevOps tool SALT agent list or sometimes it also called SALT SSH. This session is going to be quick introduction, installation and uh, basic terminology used for SALT SSH tool. Friends, uh, I'm sure you have heard about SALT stack. So SALT stack is similar tool it got a couple of uh, difference if I compare with salt SSH it use a uh, zero MQ for communication purpose and salt stack need uh, client side agent to be running on uh, target machine or you can say client machine but with the agent list salt or salt SSH this is a tool which is designed to manage the servers in agent less fashion what it mean on a single machine you can configure that machine as salt SSH master or you can say control server on client side no need to install any client side software and uh, all the communication happens over SSH and Python is the only base requirement which is uh, part of all Linux distribution by default I've listed a couple of features of salt SSH first one it's agentless architecture as I just mentioned you don't need uh, salt client agent to be running Simple mode of communication to connect with client because SALT use SSH for uh, communication purpose. SALT SSH can execute remote command on multiple clients in parallel. And uh, SALT SSH configuration is very quick and easy. In a couple of minutes, you can get your uh, SALT SSH control server ready. SALT SSH support almost all stack functionalities so whatever functionality you have worked with SAL stack almost all functionality are available with the uh, salt SSH next in French installation for installation on Red Hat uh, CentOS or Fedora you have to install EPL repository for that uh, simply yum install EPL dash release to install salt, yum install salt ssh and salt master and say minus y for yes. On Ubuntu, uh, you can use apt get install salt ssh and salt master. Friends, you may be thinking why I have listed salt master package. Though this is not mandatory, but I personally install salt master package because it delivers most of the uh, man pages, configuration files, and uh, if you have to run a couple of commands locally, then it provides that functionality. So that's my recommendation, install it. That's not a heavy package. And uh, irrespective of your Linux type, if you got pip on your system, you can simply install salt SSH using pip install salt SSH. Once you finish installation, friends, uh, just uh, remember that you have to enable systemctl, enable salt master service, and you have to start it. So this is uh, how installation can be performed. And uh, let's discuss uh, basic uh, SALT stack terminologies before uh, starting the technical session. Friends, uh, if you see on my screen, I've listed a couple of uh, building blocks, but I have listed only few. There are multiple I have, which I'm not discussing because uh, I thought only these are the basic uh, terminology which uh, we need to understand but uh, if you want more details you can visit salt website and you can grab all the details so first thing uh, what is salt minion friend salt minion is term used for the target client so any target machine that is called minion salt roster salt roster is a host inventory file which is used to identify which system need to be targeted for execution of salt commands if you have worked on uh, MCBurg, like salt minion is your host, target host, salt roster is your inventory file. Like in MCBurg, we got etc slash MCBurg slash host file. So salt roster is similar. And uh, this is a basic uh, file that is in YAML format. If you see, this is a server, which is a name, name given. You can put any sensible name. You can say this is my Apache, Apache 1, Apache 2, Apache 3, whatever. This is the host IP, you can put IP or DNS entry. And this is the user which is used for communication. 
SSH communication. So you can say root or if you got any other custom user, you can uh, specify that username. If you want to specify password, which is not recommended, but again, if you want to communicate using password, you can type password here and you can specify which port to use uh, for SSH because it provides uh, good functionality. And uh, I got another server where I'm using user salt ADM for communication purpose, I'm saying sudo true. So this user can run uh, commands on target machine as a privileged user, or you can say as root user, if uh, I have configured root level sudo. Uh, friends, uh, if you want your custom roster file, let's say you don't want to stick with default, which is etc slash salt slash roster, you can specify your own file by giving keyword test test roster file and path to your file. Next terminology which is thin underscore dir. When salt perform any action on remote machine, it uh, need to store uh, that uh, information about that particular action somewhere. So it use that uh, directory, and that directory is called thin dir. By default, uh, it is in slash temp salt and the hash hash mean that particular job ID. Next thing state. States are basically representation of a state in which system should be in. Let's say if you got uh, one web server where you want Apache to be running. So Apache running that is the desired state. So in state uh, that is similar to Ansible playbook. So you can say okay this is my server. This is going to be web server. This packages need to be installed. These services need to be started. So you tell like this is my desired state. When you run that particular state that uh, brings your server in uh, your desired state. State is similar to Ansible playbook as I just mentioned. So only like formatting is different. So that was our theoretical session friends. Let's begin practical session. Okay, I'm on machine uh, which is uh, sent to us seven machine. So let's install salt first. As I mentioned, first we need to install EPL repository. I can go with pipway, but I am just using yum. So that's uh, up to you, your preference. Saying minus five. Okay, our EPL release got installed. So let's install salt now salt ssh and salt master as you mentioned uh, that's your preference to install uh, salt master to saying yes here okay if you see both packages are part of epl repo so they are getting installed okay that was quick so both packages are installed now so let me show you default uh, roster file or uh, another time you can say default inventory file that's etc salt and uh, rosters Okay, this is the file let me vim this file and add our entries okay so these are the default formatting how you can uh, add this file i have already discussed uh, this in the theoretical session let me get rid of uh, these dummy values and uh, put some actual data Okay, friends. Uh, so what I got, I got uh, one server which I'm naming. That's uh, alias basically. That is not actual name. That's alias. I'm saying this is app server one. It got this IP. This user need to be used for communication. This is going to be password. This is to be port. And for the server, I defined in different way to give demo. I'm saying this is the IP. This is the user. And by default, uh, if you don't specify password, the SAL test is to assume the keys need to be used means uh, that uh, ssh keys the third scenario i go to user again root for uh, demonstration only i specified sudo true even root don't need sudo i'm just saying true and tty because uh, if a terminal is needed on uh, target site so i'm saying yes so attach terminal for whatever command it's running so Intentionally, I have uh, just made one error in this file to give you a demo. Uh, let me show you demo. So, okay, friends. So this was roster file. Let me tell you what is uh, error I made. 
this file is very sensitive uh, on data if you see I added uh, this particular tab so it will give error so whenever you update your roster file make sure you don't have uh, tabs in that file that was only demonstration uh, so here with cat minus fat I go to okay this is the, now I have removed that tab let me save it now okay if you see I have removed tab so always do syntax checking uh, for file for uh, any invalid or uh, data which is not required like the tab in this case so always do validation of uh, your files so that's uh, like basic things about uh, this particular session and uh, now we have to start our salt master service salt SSS service not need to be started only salt master need to be started so I'm enabling the service so after every reboot uh, the service should come automatically now I'm starting service let's validate the status okay. so service is running and sometimes uh, if you have to check what is the salt SSH version on the system if you're working with vendor or you're working with someone someone ask okay what is the version of salt SSH then you can simply run salt SSH dash dash versions dash report so it will tell you big report about uh, your version so we are using version 5.10 to 2015 this is the python which is using this is a jinja this is crypto these are the other required packages if you see so that's it friends in this way you can install salt and we have discussed what are the basic terminologies used in salt ssh if you want more details you can go to salt site and uh, you can grab uh, the required detail about other building blocks of salt ssh Thanks for so watching this video friends. If you have any query or any suggestion, just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. And in next video, I will be discussing uh, salt SSH ad hoc commands and salt states. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.